Welcome to the second part of our series on SUSE Manager 4. Today we are going to set up SUSE Manager. In part 1 we actually installed the server and got it ready. Today we're going to get the application ready to accept the registration of clients. The SUSE Customer Center contains repositories. These repositories contain all the software, patches, updates, everything required for all of the products that we support. Within SUSE Manager, we have things called channels. These relate to a distribution, a release, or a hardware architecture. What we have to do is set up a links between the SUSE Customer Center and the channels within SUSE Manager. So the process is a three-step. We set up credentials, we select the channels that we want to replicate, and then we synchronize them. SUSE credentials are available from the link below. To get your SUSE credentials, go to the scc.suse.com, the SUSE Customer Center, login, select the organization that you need to set up, organization along the top, organization credentials, and you'll see your username and password there, so save those. First we have to sign on to our SUSE Manager server, um, access it by either the IP address or by the host name. And because we haven't configured anything prior to this, we go to admin and we run the setup wizard. And that's going to ask us firstly for our organization credentials, which you have just got from the SCC. So if we go there, we add a new credential. And if you're managing multiple organizations, you can have multiple credentials. OK, we save these credentials. It goes out to Susan and does a check, make sure everything's OK. And the next thing we have to do is select the products for the clients that we're going to support. It takes a few minutes time to go out to SUSE and we'll come back with a list of all products that can be supported through SUSE Manager. This is a one-time process, it does take a while. So the list that appears before you is a list of products that you are able to manage with SUSE Manager based on your organization uh, credentials. You see I'm signed in here with uh, SUSE, so there's quite a few products that I can uh, add to SUSE Manager and manage from there. Um, your, uh, your results will certainly vary. Once the uh, product list has been updated from the uh, SUSE Customer Centre, you'll end up with a list of products that we will support on SUSE Manager. So, look down the list a little bit. And see it's not only SUSE, open SUSE products, but we've got Red Hat here, various levels of SUSE Linux Enterprise, all the way down to the bottom, we finish up with uh, two versions of Ubuntu. But um, for this exercise, I'm just going to select SUSE Manager, might as well keep that up to date, and my SUSE. Linux Enterprise Server 15, Service Pack 1 for the x86 platform. We'll select that one and we will go up here and add products. Now this part does take a long time depending on how many products you bring down. Um, so at this point we will just let it do its thing and it could take several hours in fact depending on how many products you have selected. This is something that you, if you're doing quite a few products that you might do overnight, just leave it running. <clears throat> we can see here that we have uh, SLES 15SP1 selected. It's got a um, percentage bar, hasn't started bringing it down just yet. And also we have SUSE Manager. Yeah, so let's just leave this and uh, we'll come back when it's updated. If you're the inquisitive type, there's a couple of commands that are quite handy. If you want to see how your uh, synchronization is uh, progressing, so you can look in the 
directory the slash log slash rhm slash repo sync and look for the entries there in this case at the moment we've got three entries and you can use the tail command to look at those logs I'll we'll just choose one and what it's giving us is actually very active at the moment it's obviously downloading stuff to that directory we can look at one of the uh, log files and we see that it's done its thing and uh, sync completed if we look at this one we can see that at the moment it's only 18.52% uh, complete with its download so it does take a while now if we pop back to our graphical user interface you'll see we have some changes it's been about half an hour so these are all nicely synced and from this point on we're fairly well ready to start setting up to add our first client we'll do that in part three